A spirit can come into your home that will make you no longer like your husband. If there are sincere married people in this hall, they can testify. Your wife didn't do anything. You are not just feeling connection with her again. These spirits I'm talking about, they are trying to find a place within your soul. Because spirit spouses can manipulate your emotions. They can make you feel lonely. If you're operating from the realm of the soul, you are a victim to these powers. Can make you feel lonely, make you feel sad, make you feel depressed. They can transfer their, their, their own feelings to your soul, like a Bluetooth connection. And make you feel sad without reason. Make you hate your wife. You just see your wife like this, and you know that there is no iota of connection, no affection whatsoever. Although you will not say it, it it's a spirit that is manipulating your emotions. So they can operate your thoughts, they can operate your emotions, they can operate, even give you choices to take, but you need to surrender to it before it will find expression. I have stayed in marriage long enough to tell you this fact, that most, 90% of the crisis in marriage is spiritual. Demons do it. Demons manipulate people's emotions. And if you are not spiritually minded and mature, you will think it's a woman. You will not know it's you. You are under attack. You don't know. Your emotions are exposed and they are using your emotions and you don't know. You can be coming like that and then maybe your wife will make a strange statement. It will hit you on the soul. It's not hard. I smoke that thing. The reason why there's so much venom in that utterance is because it has spirit backing. A spirit prompted her to make the utterance. You are not very wise if you respond to her based on that utterance. Just sing one song. Now my papa, oh. And walk away. <laughs> Now my papa, oh, oh, oh. for you to be a very good Christian, you need to know how to sing. Singing is can be deliverance for us. Now my papa, oh, oh. Hey. now my papa, oh, oh. What you are saying to the spirit that is trying to manipulate the game is that you can't control me. I know what is happening. Now my papa, oh, oh. I know what you can't know. Somebody will just come, put the hand on there, say, eh! Now my papa, oh. Now my papa, oh. Is not, the person is not responsible. There's a spirit at war. When you shame the spirit like that, the spirit will angrily leave the space, and then the love will come back. Forget about that episode. It was not hard as poor. When there is a serious prompting in your heart to say something, and you know if you say it, it will damage her, her alignment. Walk away. Just walk away. Just take one. You know how to whistle. <laughs> just whistle and throw. They think we're not born for long to burn off. A spirit wants to manipulate you. But if you know the drama, if you know the drama, you can break the circuit. It doesn't matter how the person loved you during courtship. Say your hair is like a fountain. <laughs> My sakome. Moye ka ya bara kose mi. When spirits come, demons will bring the wars out of every situation. And if you are not, if you don't get, if you don't gain mastery of these things, they will use you as a puppet. And do you know those days? Those days, in, we had one program called Sesame Street. Some puppets they would connect them with rope, and people will be. You will see, bet, bet would do like this. Is they are using rope? That's what the spirit wants to use you for. A puppet, just slap now, slap now. Then you you carry your hand. You don't. In order for you to have a good home, you must learn how to rebel against the devil. when you hate your wife so much, tell her that all the women in this whole world, I chose you deliberately. And I, it's not a mistake. I saw Ngozi, I chose you. <laughs> I saw this person, I chose you. Break, break the heart of that spirit that you cannot have any form of expression here. One of the reasons for this illegal union is to secure a willing host that will be ready to manifest the will, the personality. Of that spirit. You know, while we were in the university, a lot of things took place. I was I was a pastor. 
I was, a, I was a pastor in the university. And my colleagues knew me. So when we finished school, some of my colleagues that were uh, very busy, that's the way I would put it, they were very busy while we were on campus. So now they were married, but they couldn't stay married because there, was, there were contention spirits where, and they knew it was spiritual. So they had to look for someone that understands their history that they could confide in. You will find out that most people came into spiritual complexities just because they could not live a holy life. Immorality was the open door that the devil used to contract this kind of illegal unions. Another bona fide approach towards deliverance is that God sends a law enforcement agent. And that happens when God imparts his authority of, over your life to represent him. There are two utensils that God gives a man to represent him. One is power. Power is boisterous, power is loud, power is noisy. But authority is judicial. It is by divine authority that we revenge disobediences. We re revenge illegalities. We revenge and we secure grounds that were considered to the enemy. So in my practice as a law enforcement agent, I have had to snatch so many people out of the hands of Satan. It's, it's my, part of my job. Hallelujah. So we are, you don't need to prophesy to me that my name is in Satan's watch list. If you prophesy that, in fact, you are, you are not in order. Because you don't, I don't need a prophecy to know that. Every bona fide law enforcement agent in the spirit is a headache to Satan. And Satan will mark them for destruction. But you see, Satan is not as strong as he claims. He can't say he will kill you tomorrow and get it done. Because it's not given to him. I would rather serve him that has all power and all glory and all majesty. So our life is in his hands, not in Satan's hands. So Satan is not in control. And the, the safest place to be in a war situation, spiritual battle situation, is in the front lines. So I choose to be in the front lines. It's the safest place to be. You have access to the resources of God. You have access to reinforcement from heaven. You have access to, to intense care from God because your presence in the front lines keeps a lot of people under covering. These things are accomplished by the authority of the spirit that is given unto men to represent God. And tonight, I will perform my duty as a law enforcement agent in the spirit. Jesus raises men to represent him, to go for him. And he gives them power and he gives them authority. Yes, Pastor Philip B., how many cases do we have here? So let us know because I want to take you, I had to do this to legitimize the fact, to legitimize this teaching and to make you understand that there are people that are caught up in real-time bondage that the church, the body of Christ is ignoring because of a scam, a scam doctrine. It's a scam. It's a fit preaching that is a scam. Makes people pretend as if their problems don't exist. And then they go home and cry. Because many preachers will deny that there's nothing like spirit spouse. Because it's a safer place to be. You can't call them now to come and deliver you if you have that condition. So he has used that situation to deliver himself from the responsibility of having to administer help. That's a scam. And the people were taught, brainwashed in church to believe that it doesn't exist. So in church, it doesn't exist. Everybody is smiling. Then when they go home, what we will bring out is Koboko and say, you talk too much. Today. So we are law enforcement agents. And we trust that God will help us this evening in the name of Jesus. So how many people do we have here? We have over two. All right. So in the next few moments, we'll be hearing the voices of our brethren all across the world that are trying to participate in this meeting to tell us their experience. And I had to do this so that you will know that human beings are suffering under the hand of Satan. The job of a pastor is not the same with the job of a politician. A politician can come to a village and give them fake promises, but a pastor dwells with them. The politician will talk and go, but the pastor is, so the pastor can't lie. Because the next, if you lie on Sunday or Monday, somebody will come and ask you a question. 
is a job that is modeled with utmost integrity because we dwell among the people that we minister to. And that's why the only way out in pastoring is that God actually puts something supernatural on your life. Don't be fake. Stay until God gives you something supernatural. So give us the first... Uh... All right, so... Um... My name is Chukuma Osaho from Lagos, Nigeria. Right. I've had this experience. My sisters have had this experience also. Um, so sometimes I would see the lady in the dream. Other times I would not see anybody. I would only just realize that I have um, uh, brought forth semen and I would wake up and see that physical semen all over my body um, and I would know that that dream has occurred. Um, for my sister, she's not been able to keep any relationships. For me, um, so none of us yet is married. I do not know if that is the reason. Um, I'm currently in a relationship though. And um, uh, so I think that those are the symptoms for me. I just either see myself in the dream with a lady and I eventually see semen or sperm all over my body or I may not see anything or I may just see that I am in a motion that looks like sexual motion and nobody is there and at the end of the day I see semen all over my body. So that has been my experience and it has been the same experience for my sister. For, for her, she has seen a man physically try to come and sleep with her while, she's in, while she was like in a cage. Um, my other younger sister has had that dream once. I tried my best to call all of them yesterday after Papa shared to ask them if they had had this experience and they all shared this experience. Thank you very much. Now, I've forgotten the name of the brother that just spoke. He's in Lagos. I want to show you how people suffer. Pastoring is not about wearing a tie with a good hairdo and speaking London English. It's a game of power. Let philosophers go and look for jobs in the university. And let men that have power do pastoral work. Because spirits are on rampage. Now, can you, can you I don't know what, what the brother's name is, but this first Chukuma, now this first participant that just spoke, there is an altar in their family. There is an altar in their family. And um, what's his name? Chukuma. Please communicate with Chukuma. Let him know. Let us know if all those, if him and his sisters are all in Nigeria. And let them program, program them for, for much contact. Let them come here. Yeah. Next. Next. Next case. So, Apostle said that we should um, send this um, voice note. So, um, part of the symptoms that, that I notice is each time I maybe like taken or for example now I went to do IVF when they found out okay it was taking a while for me to get pregnant so I went to do IVF every time they put uh, they finish the procedure a night before the day that I was to confirm it if I was pregnant or not I always see a dream where somebody comes to sleep with me and then the following morning the pregnancy test is going to be negative and that same following morning blood will start flowing and then apart from that one too i also notice that each time i have an encounter for example now like um, it still happened yesterday i had an encounter with um, apostle arumel saipo there was an obstruction as if uh, uh, maybe somebody or something did not want me to have that encounter, encounter. to get the deliverance and this is not the first time it has happened i think on three or four occasions where um i would find myself in front of one of god's general and then something will happen and then they will not be able to pray for me so that one and then also it's from one ailment to another every time there's always an ailment one ailment to another and then there's a dream where where um one was telling me that I should take this money and leave this man, uh, leave my husband alone. So that was what the person was telling me, like, take this money and leave this man, just leave this man. So he keeps saying that one, and then I said I wasn't going to, and because I refused, he said, okay, since I have refused, that I will see, that he will show me. And 
it's been from one sickness to another sickness like that from one surgery to another surgery and what else again it's been serious to be honest it's can been you see serious. the jealousy there was one time too can you see the thing resisting i forgot to add conception? this one there's also the issue of gang raping like when you have so many people gang raping one person so there's also the issue of gang raping and then every time every time like every month there's always someone coming to sleep with me and then now, following can, the can you see uh, these are human beings so whenever church becomes cosmetic that we just dress and just i put my bow tie and say i just flew in now from the other side it, it means we are lost jesus gave us power for practical so situations can you see the influence of that spirit in the life of that lady please we contact that lady tell her this night her own deliverance is this night yeah. that she should say to you number three we'll do this for a few minutes so that we we have uh, we have three more minutes then we'll go into prayer yes take the third one good evening sir um sending this voice note in response to the um, issue of spirit spouse um, from a very young age, I was molested. I was exposed to a lot of sexual vices from both maternal and paternal family members. And it was not just one or two or three, there were multiple people, including both female and male. And that actually exposed me to a lot of addiction. I struggled with masturbation, I struggled with pornography. And by then, I didn't really know at a young age whether I had spirit spouse or not, until yesterday, daddy, um, about the topic and I had revelation on what this was because I know that most times in school when I was in school I would have these funny dreams that I'm molested in my dream I wake up with the urge to indulge in the act of masturbation and pornography but then I didn't really know it was something called spirit pass I spoke to a pastor about it they prayed with me I had like accountability partners when I fall back they encouraged me like that I was just managing it but I knew deep down whenever I had such dream I can never stop I was being compelled to indulge in that act and um, it continued for over this, like from three years of my life now. And then I think I find it difficult to really like, like guys. I thought maybe it was like a protective mechanism for me, so I felt like it wasn't something of a big deal. Or not until now that, you know, marriage and all those stuff, I realized that is actually an issue. And I realized truly it was like a spirit spouse because it kept being repeated for before it was almost like um i fell into this act like almost daily then it reduced to weekly then monthly sometimes two months three months i'll go like i'll have go on spiritual exercises then i'll be, be so fire brown dead after the whole thing then the whole urge come again so strong that i cannot resist and i've been going through such cycle for a very long time but yeah this has been my experience with the spirit powers and most times there can be female, sometimes I see a male in the dream, sometimes family members faces, sometimes I can't even remember the dream. Most of the times I don't remember the dream, but I wake up with the urge to indulge in those acts. So I've been battling this, I really want to be delivered, I really want, even yesterday when that, 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 daddy finished praying, as I slept, I had a serious attack. Yeah. I can't remember the sort of the dream, but when I woke up, I knew that I felt like I was paralyzed, the urge was there, I was struggling, the whole pictures of molestation my child started coming back different things were playing out i was just in bed i was i could not even pray okay. I could not do anything. I slept back let me talk to that sister the chinese attempted to come up with philosophies by which a man can conquer himself and what they recommended was self-discipline and meditation so periodically you retreat into a temple we are taught the art of yoga, how to diffuse the tension that is in your soul. And uh, that is actually covenanting with other spirits anyway. And then you now become disciplined. Don't get angry. Don't lose your temper. Don't do that. It's, and the resources from whence they expect you to do this is what is called the latent power of the soul. And that's why you need to be a disciplined person in order to be able to preach to a Chinese man. He must see that you have character because they are taught to develop self-discipline. But you see, self-discipline is not a solution when a spirit is involved. 
Because the lady that is speaking here has tried everything within her capacity to stop the cycle. But you cannot use the resources of the flesh to combat against something that has its roots in the spirit. And I did this and I didn't, you know, when I announced it here was when they heard and did the notes. They didn't do the notes. I didn't doctor these notes. So that you will see life, real time experiences. And how we are becoming incapable as preachers of the gospel to really reach the nerve of the challenges of the people that we preach to. And this is the reason for which all pastors need to go back to God and cry to him to release his power. You are fake if you don't have power. You are fake. Because Jesus said, these signs will follow them that believe in my name. As far as yours is concerned, life is supernatural. And if you don't have supernatural signs as evidences that you have met with Jesus, Jesus, the supernatural man, will make you a supernatural entity. If that is not the case, you are fake. I've seen people that have tried to discredit the supernatural that as, as if it's when you mature, then you become powerless. <laughs> Those are atonements for lack, for fatal lacks in the utensils of ministry. That situation is spiritual and it, it can only be solved spiritually. Tell that lady that she'll be delivered this night. What happened to her when she followed the, she exposed the thing for deliverance yesterday. So the thing came and attacked her yesterday night. Hmm? What that is called is intimidation because a spirit, a, this kind of spirit never wants to lose his host. Satan will never try to intimidate you if he has not lost ground. Intimidation is a proof that Satan has lost ground. And by the time we pray again, today, that lady will be delivered and she will be able to marry. These spirits are weak. You don't understand. Somebody called me from London yesterday and said, bring this, your message to London. Because people don't marry in London. If you give this call in London, one million people will we we, we respond. I said, what? Okay, the guys in Europe, they are, <laughs> the Europe men are, are agreeing with you. So we, are, we have to take this ax to, to Europe and cut people off the, the, the scourge of illegal unions. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Final voice note, then we'll go into prayers. Prayers okay, tonight are prayers Mariam. of war. I'm from UK. My name is Mariam. Okay. I'm from UK. And uh, I've got those symptoms of, symptoms of um, spouse spirits. One of them having sex in my dreams like almost every day. The, pa the person in my, in my dreams comes with the form of my husband. And secondly, um, uh, they keep coming, they keep telling me, speaking in my mind, telling me to take my things and move leave, out of my husband's house. They, keep, they, they make me hate him. They, and as I am as speaking now, I'm actually I packed last night and moved out of my husband's house. Actually I'm, moving, I'm living in someone else's house. Thank you. Now, please, can you tell her to go back home? Tell her right now. Go back. Go back. Home. Let her move back right now. Are you with me? Are you, are, you, are you seeing what we're talking about here? Marine spirits are out to fight against the marriage institution. One of the signs of a genuine ministry is how he defends marriage. When you see people that are casual about marriage, say, oh my God, you know, we can, I'm Pastor James and this is my third wife. <laughs> when you find that, you run as fast as you can. <laughs> you, you take off when you find that. It is these spirits that are trying so hard to redefine marriage as something that happens within with, with Adam and Steve. So that means Collins Dictionary was wrong. Webster's Dictionary was wrong. Oxford Dictionary was wrong. We need a new dictionary to capture marriage. Darkness has befallen us. And the church is supposed to be the instrument of light. So the recovery must begin with us. If you are still with me, say Amen. amen. So we are going to take that song two times. There is none like you. Can you rise on your feet? Oh, oh, the God. They are the walks of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. Hallelujah.
want to explain something quickly, then we'll, we'll pray together. The devil knows. I hope you know Adam was created a full grown adult, not a baby. So even though he was an adult, he was still a baby in the soul. It was still his time of innocence. He had not reached the time of accountability. It was in that window that Satan defeated him. Most of the challenges that people have are within the window of the time before they arrived at the point of accountability. And that's why you will need to accept your conviction. For the Bible says that the father's soul is mine, the soul of the son is mine, and it's only the soul that seen it that shall die. You have reached the time of accountability. You want to accept yourself tonight. It is your right. He is of age. The Bible says, let him speak for himself. Tonight you want to speak for yourself. That I will not serve you, Satan. My father may have dedicated me to you. My mother may have dedicated me to you. But I render null and void anything that was told on my behalf that gives you the right of way I speak for myself
thank you for watching and if this video has blessed you please like kindly subscribe and also tap on the notification bell so you can stay notified and updated on our new videos and please do not forget to share the link to people so we can bless more people and most importantly we want to know how this video has blessed you under the comment section don't forget to subscribe